Hey Patrick, would you like some coffee? Okay, sure. So what are we learning today? I know, condensation. There are three basic states of matter: solid, liquid, and gas. In a solid, molecules are held together by strong bonds. These bonds are so strong that the molecules cannot move freely. As a result, a solid has a definite shape and volume, like an ice cube. However, if you apply heat to a solid, the molecules become more energetic. They start to vibrate and eventually start to break free from their bonds, and the solid becomes liquid. Because the molecules have enough energy to move around freely, liquids do not have a definite shape. If you keep on adding heat, the molecules eventually get so energetic that the space between each molecule becomes huge. At this point, the liquid becomes a gas. A gas has no definite shape nor volume. This process, where a liquid becomes a gas, is called evaporation. And condensation is the opposite of evaporation. You can observe condensation all around you. It's responsible for fog, dew, water that drips off a cold glass, and of course, foggy glasses. It's extremely important for the water cycle, as it produces clouds. We also use condensation to produce large amounts of water for human consumption. We use it in water distillation, refrigeration. And air conditioning. Now let's do something fun. For this experiment, you are going to need a glass jar, a plate, hot water, and some ice cubes. Pour hot water in the glass jar until it reaches about five centimeter. Cover the jar with the plate face up. Wait about three minutes. Then, put ice cubes on the plate. Watch what happens. Why is this happening? The cold plate causes the hot water vapor in the jar to cool down. As the water molecules cool down, they lose some of their energy and are unable to move around as freely as before. Eventually, the molecules become too weak to resist cohesive bonds and start grouping together. This forms water droplets on the sides of the glass. Remember, we said that condensation is the opposite of evaporation. Now it's your turn to try. If you like this video, please remember to like. Share, subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell. That's it for today. See you in the next one. Bye.